What up, guys? Welcome back to the Requintazo podcast, where we're just gonna start exploring different truths. So I'm gonna feel a little weird about this one because I've never talked to people about this. In the previous podcast, I mentioned that the first red pill I became aware of was the financial red pill. If you haven't watched that podcast, watch it now because honestly, I gave away. Like a whole bunch of my ideals and a whole bunch of like I exposed a whole bunch of truths. But the second red pill that I became aware of is the relationship red pill. So I don't even know where to start because there's like a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. But I'll I guess I'll start from the beginning. How did I get red pilled? And this red pill is like the most commonly talked about red pill. So I'm not gonna talk about like what they teach or the philosophies of this red pill. If you want to learn more, I recommend you read the book *The Rational Male* by Royal Tomasi. He exposes like all these, all these uh, social dynamics that we experience between male and female and stuff like that. So, I recommend you to read that book. And mientras también search his website, therationalmale.com, and start reading. <laughs> so, how did I get red pilled? And as I previously mentioned, the way that you get red pilled is that you just go through this moment where you're just like, "fuck this," and you go through a whole bunch of pain. And honestly, that happened to me, and that's how I became relationship red pill aware. And uh, this happened about two years ago. <laughs> and basically, long story short, I was going out with this girl, and uh, while I was out traveling, I found out that she cheated on me. Like. After all this time, I invested in her and like showed her how much I loved her. Like, she was capable of that. After that happened to me, like I didn't discover the red pill right away. Like I was, I was like, "Fuck this!" That that was my "fuck this" moment. So I was like, "Fuck this! I'm never gonna get in a relationship again." And then I started every single weekend. I started going out, clubbing, meeting new people, picking up girls, and uh, I thought that was gonna help me get over it, but it didn't. So then, one, I forgot how I discovered this community, but I, I was like online searching for different stuff, and the red pill theory came on, and I started watching different videos, and I, I found the book, The Rational Male, and I actually recommend you to read that. So one of the things that they discuss in that book is that women aren't capable of loving you the way that you want them to love you, and uh, based on experience, I kind of see that. I kind of agree with that. There are some things that I agree and I don't agree with that philosophy because like I've had girls in the past tell me that they love me and like I'm pretty good at reading people so in that very moment in time when a girl tells you that they love you they actually do and you could feel it. They actually feel gen it actually feels genuine and they actually mean that. But the moment you fuck up or the moment like say you forget an anniversary or like you forget something or you piss them off they're gonna feel pissed off and that in that moment in time they're not gonna love you so like it's a balance and you have to be aware of these things so that's just one of the things i became aware of and like one of the things i believe now like i know my thoughts on love and on all this stuff is going to change over time but the way I think now and the way I believe now is that there is like people like to give into the illusion that there is a soulmate for you like there is the one person in the world that you could only be happy with this one person and I found that to be false like if you give into this belief that there's only one person for you then like recently broke up with them or you're going through this shit with them and you feel like they're the only person out there for you then you're gonna feel pretty bad your entire life because now your whole life revolves around this one person when it shouldn't be like that true happiness is found inside you it's not found in other people it's not found in other things so the way I believe now is like my life doesn't revolve around other people now it revolves around my mission my purpose in life what I'm setting out to do what brings me happiness and honestly I don't give a shit if people like me for it or if people are attracted to me for it 
there's a lot of guys searching online how to pick up girls and stuff and honestly if you look at the history of pickup all these pickup artists they they observed natural men who were good at, at picking up women and that's how they learned how to be good but if you read the game one of the best pickup artists in the world was mystery and you find out that he was like this nerd who was pretty bad with women and all of a sudden he developed these skills to be able to pick up any any woman he liked but he came to realize that he thought by picking up all these beautiful women that he was going to be happy but he became depressed and he almost committed suicide because of it because he found that once he once he was able to pick up these women he wasn't able to hang on to them he wasn't able to maintain them because he didn't have that he he changed the external like he knew how to how to change his behaviors but he never actually worked on himself inside once he picked up these beautiful women he he became like he became comfortable and the moment you become comfortable they start losing attraction for you so instead of like focusing on picking up women and learning how to pick up women like instead of faking these behaviors like one of the most common things that people do is that when when you get a message you have to wait 30 minutes an hour i don't know the rules so you won't seem needy or you won't seem desperate instead of instead of fucking pretending you're busy actually be fucking busy like be actually be working on yourself be working on your business be working on your job your education be fucking busy like don't fake it actually become an attractive guy actually work on yourself to become a better person and that's what's going to make you attractive that's what all these pickup artists try to imitate so those are my current thoughts on on relationships and stuff like that so i don't know if you're going to agree with me but that's how i think at the moment and uh, like i said things might change in time but we'll see so i'm gonna end this podcast here hope you liked it please share it and i'll see you in the next podcast